Hey butterflies, welcome back to Evolving Butterfly Goddess with the me, Mona Cole. Here we are all about evolving out loud in our life for money and our purpose through the energy of our ancestors. I want to thank you for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes here on the channel. It is a major appreciation and a major shout out to all of the channel members here on my website as well as over here on YouTube. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your continuous support. And then a shout out to those of you all who have patronized my tea and candle company. Thank you, thank you, thank you for those orders as well as I enjoy making those orders for you, especially the candles, baby. It's like little personal readings inside the candle. But anyway, so this is the 999 angel number butterfly effect message, okay? And as soon as I was chilling into the 999 energy i was hearing um the song it's over now it's over now i feel like i can make it the storm is over now no more cloudy days they're all gone gone away i feel like i can't make it the storm is over now baby okay if you know you know so this energy is just give me this vibe because we know nine is a number of completion okay endings 999 is 27 okay which is a two and a seven and together it's a nine two is a number of balance okay balance in relationships connections okay seven is a number of intelligence growth wisdom knowledge okay and i just feel like if you felt drawn to this video with the 999 you're exiting a season of storms, okay? The storms are coming to an end, okay? The cloudy days, the times when you felt like you didn't know how you were going to get past certain things, when you didn't know how you were going to, oh, hit my necklace, baby. The times when you didn't know how you were going to pay certain bills, the times when you you had to question certain people in your life if they were real or fake, the times when you had to deal with abuse at the job or with a partner or with family, okay? That's coming to an end, period. Those cloudy days are ending. And the reason for it is with that two and that seven, because you have been connecting with higher level knowledge. You've been connecting with new people. You've been connecting to people who have higher vibrations, people who mean better for you, people who mean well for you, people that don't want to pull you back down to a level to where you used to be, people who are not always there constantly reminding you of what you used to do, who you used to be, how you used to show up. You're getting away from all of that. You're getting away from all of that and connecting to your true tribe, your true energy tribe of who you need to be connected to. And it ain't just that you feel like you can make it. You know you can make it now. You know you can make it now. No more toxic karmic relationships. When you realize that the reason why you were staying in that mental confusion was the sense of waiting on this karmic partner or allowing this person to be able to manipulate your mind and your energy to the place where it's just like you were feeling constricted, right? It makes me think of the ocean, the strongest energy ever. The deeper you get into the ocean, your lungs have to accommodate. So they start to shrink. They start to shrink to accommodate to all the pressure to the point where you're feeling like you, you can't breathe. You can't breathe because you're underwater first off. But when your lungs and stuff is that closed off, ain't nothing beating like it normally do. But it's like you're now coming out of the depths of that water. Water also represents emotions. 
feminine energy. It could have been untamed feminine energy. If you found yourself getting upset at a lot of things, if you found yourself wanting to cuss out people or, you know, like just whatever the case is in this darker energy, it's like you're rising from the water. And as you're rising up from the water, your lungs are starting to expand again and you're, you're able to breathe again. Now I'm hearing Tony Braxton, breathe again, breathe again, that I shall never breathe again. But outside of that, babe, you are going to breathe again. She felt like she couldn't breathe again because she was going to the depths of the water. She was deep in. And if you're going to go to the deep end with somebody, make sure they go into the deep end with you. It makes me think of that song by, is it Division, the song Deep End? Girl, you can depend on me in the deep end. I won't let us down. I won't let you drown. Oh my gosh, I used to my song. Girl, you can depend on me in the deep end. I won't let us down. I won't let you drown. I won't let you down. I can't think of all the rest of the words, but that's just popping in my head. So if you're going to go to the deep end with somebody, make sure it's somebody that's an actual, they're able to, to withstand it and not leave you there by yourself. But you coming out of that cycle, baby. You coming out of that cycle. I'm going to go to another deep. Mm -mm. You deserve to be around energies of people who you can depend on. That they're not going to put you or get you into situations and now you left stuck wondering and questioning where they at and what they got going on. Little do you know they may even be out gone with somebody else. You better not wait on them to come back because if somebody want to choose somebody else, let them stay with them. Don't you ever allow somebody to make you an option unless you okay with being three people in a relationship, okay? Don't you ever let nobody make you an option. We're starting with the three of wands and look at her, how she's at the water looking to see, like, we know the three of wands is like, you're planning, you're seeing what could be, what it is that you know, what you could potentially get your hands on, where you could go, the extent of where you can go. You see things from a wider lens, right? When it's in the three of wands energy and a lot of you all, as you're coming out of that deep end, you're ending this cycle, um, this cycle where it felt like it was a storm going on to be able to see like, hey, there's life after the storm. There's life after the storm. Then we have the nine card with the hermit coming out. That's Virgo energy. But that's giving me the sense of if you got to go it alone, you're willing to go it alone. And that's when things really start coming your way. When you realize that you're not dependent on a thing or a soul for your emotional satisfaction and your growth. And you're okay with things just being the way that they need to be. And you're okay with going it alone. That's when you really start seeing that progress happen, baby. Eight of Cups energy. And this is even, you know, a mama. And she's okay with walking away. So whether if it's a toxic relationship or partner or um, the mother or father to your child, you know what I'm saying? Like if you need to walk away, then you need to walk away because you staying is doing nothing but creating generational wounds and problems. You deserve happiness. I don't care who you are and what you have gone through, what you have experienced, what you may have done. You still deserve happiness and what is best for you because you are not the same today as what you were yesterday. And don't you ever let somebody try to make you stay in that place. Oh, that song, you can depend on me. <laughs> you can depend on me. Mm, that's what it is. Girl, you can de depend on me in the deep end. I won't let us down. I won't let you drown. Oh. He said, whatever you need, whatever you want. I'll never leave you. 
There are men and women out there who can be loyal, who can be faithful, who can show up for you in the manner that you need them to. The world wants 1010. The world wants us to believe that they're not out there. In which there are a lot of fuck people. There are a lot of fuck men, a lot of fuck women. Okay. You know, I've been one. Okay. So I know they're out there. But we all can grow. But you ain't got time to sit here and wait on somebody to grow and get better. Let them learn from you. And then they just going to be better with the next person. You get what I'm saying? Because you deserve somebody who's going to be right the first time. And most times that person that's right the first time, they had to learn from somebody else. But you are out of this storm because you're walking away from this storm. You're no longer allowing yourself to be constrained by this energy and feeling like you need to stay in this particular space. Take your little lantern, okay? This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, oh. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, okay? Everywhere you go, I'm looking at the Hermit card. She got that light lighting the way. And that light is your optimism, is your good energy, is your resilience, your ability to keep going in the face of the times when people telling you you need to stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, I feel the teeth turning down. One more time. What she say? Why he treats you like he do when he's such a good man? Baby, a good man and a good woman gonna treat you like one. Abuse is not, and some people to them, love, that's what they grew up with, being loved. But if that ain't what you see as being loved, then baby, it's a no. And I'll do anything he wants me to. <laughs> Oh, Ten of Cups. Making love on a bed of flowers, baby. While your children are playing in the background with the dolphins and the water, enjoying their life. This is ultimate fulfillment. This is ultimate spiritual satisfaction. This is the sense of having a partner who you can completely connect with. Why have I never noticed that there's only nine cups on this card, even though this is a... Okay, baby, it ain't nine, it's ten. I just couldn't count. I'm about to say, where is the other cup? But make it love on a bed of flowers, okay? Like, you deserve the energy where you feel like you're growing, they're growing, and all that fighting, there is a healthy way to get through that. That typically happens when there's an avoidant person Someone who doesn't like to address certain things, so then it triggers the other person. And it's just not balance going on. You deserve to be with somebody who brings you balance. But it's a butterfly effect. Effect. It's a butterfly effect. A effect. What? Time to change some energy. Change some energy. Time to check your energy. Check your energy. All right, 34, 34. I didn't hear you. It's okay to ask for clarification for something you need greater understanding of. Asking for help doesn't mean you are weak or less than. So this gives me a sense of if you are walking away from a situation and you don't know like the steps to take to make that happen, reach out to the people or put yourself in the circles that you need to be in in order for this to be able to, you know what I'm saying, for you to grasp or get the information that you really need. It's okay to say, hey, I need help with upgrading or I need help with putting this these changes into place that's a signification of strength not weakness baby all right you have intuition that's coming out allow your intuition to come out and allow you to like be guided into the spaces and around people where you need to be at and i'm also hearing the sense of your body the body keeps score. Like your body will tell you if you're in a, in a space that's a safe space or not. It won't just like that trauma, like that is relived in a lot of different ways. You can tell when you're in spaces where 
you're being traumatically triggered. And a lot of times it'd be on purpose. Truth be told. I am worthy, card number 16. I am enough and I am worthy of receiving everything I desire. I do not need to prove myself to those who would seek to diminish me. I am worthy. And you'd be surprised how many people are literally their sole purpose is to try to make you feel worse about yourself. To try to diminish who you are as a person. What you bring to a situation. They have to lower your confidence to make them feel better. Get around more people who are in their power, people who know how to celebrate other people, and you'll see that life and things is totally different because it's not like a competition or a control situation where they feel like they got to try to control you. Let me get into some. I haven't gone to my astrology cards in a minute. I knew if Pisces energy was going to come out with this mystic. This is a lot of compassion, a lot of healing. That's just 12th house energy in general. Um, and Pisces 12th house energy also deals with spirituality, intuition, and things of that nature as well. So allow yourself, allow your spirituality to come out and play and be evolved as well. Um, allow your personal magic to come out and just, yes. Learn who you are. Fifth house of passion. Do the things that you really want to do. You know? What makes your soul glow? Do more of that. You deserve more of that. You hear me? If you agree and accept this, I want you to claim it down below by saying, I deserve all of that. Okay? I deserve all of that. Because you deserve everything. If it's if you've been believing it and dreaming it, then it's obtainable for you. If your mind is able to dream it and see it, then it is obtainable. So go out there and get it. But as always, always be real, always be true. Don't be afraid to do what you want to do. Period. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one. And as always. Continue to bloom.